But if you're not exactly sure how to design a mascot, you're in luck. Watch this. We're all familiar with mascots when we watch sporting events, but what actually makes a great and memorable mascot? Well, here's a man whose job it is to design and make mascots every day. Hi, my name's Simon. I'm the creative director here at Frenzy. This is my office. This is where the design process starts. With a simple piece of paper and a pencil sketch, we'll then take the pencil sketch and turn it into some full colour artwork, which I do on screen on the computer. So when we've decided what it's going to look like at a small scale in 3D, we take it through to our pattern making and sewing department where we put it together full size. This is where we make the patterns for the costumes and where we start to put everything together. So after we've put the patterns together and sewn the costume, the next stage is to start thinking about the head. You remember the clay maquette we made that Rob was doing? What we do is we scan that into the computer and very cleverly scale that up and we use this computer and this piece of software to cut out the shapes that we use to make the head. So now you've seen all the stages about how we put a costume together, I can show you the finished product. There's lots of things to consider when you're designing a mascot costume. It has to look fantastic, obviously. It has to be larger than life, very, very bright, really, really nice, engaging eyes. Quite often, really, really big eyes make something look really, really friendly. Another thing to consider is the colours you use in your mascot costume. Sometimes too many colours can just look too busy. And you need to make sure your mascot's got a great big smile. <laughs> what a cool job! To